What do you do for a living? I'm owner of travel agency. I work in a pharmaceutical company. I work on CPLs. I'm a technical manager. Why did you decide for buying property rather than paying for a rent? Because not a lot of landlords in Malta appreciate that I have two dogs. So then I thought, why not me being the landlord? Now being in your position, how much can we make per year? More than 100,000. 7,000 in one week. So how do you invest your money? First, we are investing in the renting apartments and taking guarantee rooms in the hotels. I do have one, one investment. I think it's the best investment you can have on the island. I would say Malta, I was still invested in a property. Mm -hmm. As a client of the real estate agents, what is the advice you would give for the agents? To find me what I'm searching for my budget. And from your perspective, which generation is the worst one? Gen Z or millennials? It's Gen Z, yes. Yeah, welcome and welcome back to my channel again. Today I'm gonna ask people about real estate investing as well and if they are renting or they are buying their own property. It's important to know because as a real estate agent, I'm learning from the experience. I'm learning directly from the potential clients. It's important for you as well. And also as a foreigner, if you are interested for investing in Malta, you have a direct contact. So you can contact me anytime. I will help it out for you even if you are abroad or you already arrived to Malta I can help you out so today's topic you already know don't forget hit the like and subscribe button let's go to interview people your name age and where are you from uh, my name is Renata and I'm coming from North Macedonia I am. what do you do for a living I'm owner of travel agency you have the real wow. <laughs> okay that's cool so you have travel agency in Malta no, just in Macedonia and in Kosovo. It's a neighboring country to North mm -hmm. Macedonia. Right. For how long you are in Malta? Uh, I came just for festival for three nights, not okay. more than three days. So how did you decide for starting your company? Oh, it was, uh, I don't know, uh, I just practicing in travel agency. Mm, by profession, I'm lawyer. Actually, I was studying law, but mm -hmm. uh, I was stuck like uh, practicing in travel agency and I like this job mm -hmm. more than. That's, that's great. So is it a profitable business? Uh, yes, it is. We do have some troubles during the COVID, mm -hmm. as all other businesses. But if you know what you're doing, you must be successful. That's great. How did you overcome the COVID period? Uh, we have government support. Mm -hmm. And OK, lucky us, it was not so long time. And uh, we can succeed with this government support. So now it's going hard, but it's becoming more better. That's great. And you are comfortable sharing the information about the numbers. How much is it generating for you per year? Oh, wow. Well, it's quite a <laughs> business secret. So Yeah, you are a business owner. And tell to us if it is high seven figures or low six figures, how is it? Low. Low, like low. around 100,000 per year? Um, more than 100,000. More than 100,000. So is it enough for you to live comfortably and do your own investments how you want in Macedonia? To be sincerely with you, in our country, yes, because mm -hmm. uh, our standard is still, still acceptable and as far as you know, we are not a uh, part of European Union, mm -hmm. so it's still good for living. Wow. Like, it's uh, more cheaper than Malta. Okay, that's great. So, how do you invest your money? In my business, actually, not just in tourism. Uh, first, we are investing in the, um, renting apartments and taking guarantee rooms in the hotels. In guarantee room? In the hotels, yes. Because uh, what does that mean? Charter flights. We will have, uh, for example, for 2025, mm -hmm. direct char from Sco charter from Skopje to one Greek island, to Rhodos Island. Mm -hmm. If I want to have uh, normal competitive prices, I have to prepay some rooms since now. Mm -hmm and the charter flight also we put deposit and right. the business is going like that amazing so at least you have your own channel you are diversifying also collaborating with some hotels as well and Normal. we are mainly interviewing people about diversification for the rental investments and also the real estate or maybe the property market as a business owner mm -hmm. how do you think about investing in a property market 
Yeah, I think that is really good idea. Actually, I'm quite interested in European markets, like uh, mm -hmm. also Malta is good for in investment. Yeah, yeah. At the moment, I have some business people that are staying in Bucharest and Romania, that is also mm -hmm. part of the European Union. And I'm pretty sure that this is very uh, good business for rental and reselling after that. Wow. That's great. And you are also investing for property for your own... As a company, yeah. yes. But uh, for yourself? Individual, no. No? no. But Just what do you mean as a company? But, but if I have a possibility, really, I would like to invest. Why do you say that if it is a possibility? What Because, stops you? Uh, in my case, my business is very close, close to my individual. So I cannot mm -hmm. do like individual everything that I'm doing. I'm doing as a company because I'm one ownership mm -hmm. of the company but if I was doing uh, working something else then in mm -hmm. this case yes I will let's say that you are interested for investing real estate in Malta mm -hmm. and uh, what you would ask from the agents uh, I will give it to Airbnb I want uh, or, or you mean no, 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 no. when I'm go uh, I'm gonna buy it Yeah, because mm -hmm. you are a foreigner okay. and you want to invest in Malta for the real estate, okay. yes. And you have an agent in front of you okay. and what help you would ask from them or you would do by yourself everything without agents? No, 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 of course with agents. When mm -hmm. you are entering to new market, you cannot mm -hmm. do it by yourself. I will use a local agent, but first I will tell my budget or first I will explore the market, how the prices are going. Mm -hmm. And then I will say what I need. One bedroom, two bedroom apartment. Maybe I need some hotel to be reimbursed. Uh -huh. so depends okay. yeah that's amazing answer and what type of help or approach you would expect from the agent to find me what I'm searching for my budget mm -hmm. but uh, you, you know that you're a nice location uh -huh. to be in a well standard so well that's great do you think that till like still 2024 and upcoming years real estate investment will be on it top priority for people for the growing up markets mm -hmm. where economy is go going up I think yes it's real deal so people in their early age or they are interested for starting travel agency business what should they know let's say that you have someone in front of a camera and okay. then you have to tell to them this and this you have to avoid this 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 you have to do so to be successful is there a path or like right and wrong things to do there is only one formula to believe in what you are doing that is the real formula okay. if you believe if you have a clear target clear aim then mm -hmm. you, you you must be successful have you ever been broke before yeah i don't how did you overcome that situation shall i <laughs> it yeah. is obligatory to give you an answer <laughs> No, next question, please. <laughs> ah, is this like a Tashi? <laughs> It's a secret. <laughs> It's a secret? Yes. Wow, there is something going on. <laughs> yes. But we <laughs> specifically want to hear that part. No, I will keep it for myself. That's Okay. Only skip one question, please. Go okay. to the next one. Okay. So, people think that, let's say, investing in a business, stocks and property market. Which one you think that it's better than others? Properties then stocks then business do you invest in the stocks or I do. some shares i do is it doing well uh depends sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad mm -hmm. so it's a little bit uh, tough thing you have to follow the market and you have to know what you're doing where you're investing okay i understand and at the end any best piece of financial advice you would give to younger people to believe in themselves Uh, to uh, not too afraid to take some risks because if you don't undertake some risk you cannot be successful great we appreciate it thank you very much it was uh, very good welcome. to talk to you hi your name age and where are you from david muscat uh, 40 year 48 years uh, from malta what do you do for work i am a technical manager uh, in what industry oil and gas all right how long are you in the industry 11 years now wow but before what were you doing Pharmaceutical and manufacturing, same, same, same technical manager. And are you happy doing what you do? Yeah, yeah, of course. So what's the best part of your job? Uh, because uh, there's no routine; it's always different. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you go in, inside the office every day, it's always a different day. It's always a different story. So, being in your position as a manager, yeah. how much can we make per year? Uh, that can vary from uh, 30k up to uh, 50k uh, every year. 
mm -hmm. every, every year. And you are at the moment over that 50,000? No, in between. Okay. How do you invest your money? I invest my money normally uh, real estate. I mean, uh, I, I do have one, one investment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I think it's the best investment you can have on the island. Wow. Why people are more interested in investing for the property? Because the property is becoming uh, always, the price is going up every year. Every year there's an increase. And obviously this is because uh, the footprint is very limited on this island. If it is uh, limited, so that means in the future, will there will be there any demand? Up till now, there's always a demand. Mm -hmm. And uh, it seems that it will be like that uh, for the coming five, uh, six years. Okay. And every investment, as long as it is uh, for uh, more than five years, it's good. You prefer long-term investment or short-term? Long-term. Okay. And real estate is a long-term investment? Yes, of for course, you? yes, of course. At the moment, how many units do you have? No, it's only one. Only it's one, only one. Yes. yes. And you are renting it for short lots? Or? Yes, yes. Okay. And uh, for being a manager, of course, you have uh, multiple employees. Yep. How you are uh, managing in that uh, environment so that the company is running because of you, I would say? I have uh, around 40 people, mm -hmm. okay, and uh, I do like uh, 8 to 10 hours every, every day. Mm -hmm. So I cope with, with, with my work very well. Uh, being a manager, what is the challenge you are facing with the employees if they are maybe Gen Z? What's the difference? Yeah. Maybe you don't have Gen Z employees or maybe you do have. I have all sorts of ages, mm -hmm. uh, but the biggest challenge every day is to manage people, not the work itself. Because everyone has his own character, everyone uh, has his own story, problems, issues. And uh, nowadays, uh, the social aspect of, of the employee is very important also. And from your perspective, which generation is the worst one? Gen Z or millennials? Gen Z. It's Gen Z, yes. Why so? Yes, yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> the, 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 perhaps they, 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 they wake up every day and they have every, uh, different, different ideas, <laughs> different way of doing things. And uh, I mean, I have 48 years. There's an age gap, of course, but I think uh, it's a bit too much now. So uh, beside your full-time job, do you have any side hustle no, or a business? No, no, no. no. no it's only my full-time job. It's enough. I mean, sometimes you need to stay uh, more at the office, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes 10 hours, sometimes even more. For people in their early age or early stage for financial freedom journey, what advice you would give to them so they can have their financial freedom for as soon as possible and what is the best return on investment they can get and they can invest for something? I mean, I, I think the best advice is to first they sort their studies mm -hmm. and then they, they will find the right job because obviously you need to, to start earning before investing. Uh, so you need to have the studies in place, then you find a good job that will, that will give you a good salary. Is it important to keep going on your full time or it's also an idea for having your side hustle or a business? A side hustle will work here, um, uh, but obviously you need to, to try to do something uh, that, that is different from others because this is a small island and if you do something that is very easy, obviously there will be others that will do the same thing. But if you do something that is not that easy, mm -hmm. uh, the return of investment there will be, will be much bigger. Because okay. Being more than 10 years in the industry as a manager, yeah. what's the best piece of lesson? you ever learned uh, in terms of like managing people and the psychology? Take good care of your employees because uh, remember that uh, someone need to do the work and it's the employee that normally do the work. I mean, uh, irrelevant how much the automation will, 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 will improve, but it's always a, a human behind every aspect of uh, every activity of the, of the work. Right. That's great. And any best piece of financial advice you have uh, received or you want to deliver to our audience? Spend your money wisely. I mean, nowadays uh, you can spend <laughs> so much money on, mm -hmm. on, on nothing. Uh, perhaps at that time for, for a couple of, of days you'll be happy with the investment and then you realize that it's another, another gadget, another toy that you don't need. Right. That's great. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Hello, your name, age and where are you from? Uh, Vema, 26, and from England. What do you do for a living? Uh, I work on super yachts. Super yachts? Yeah. Okay, and what's your job there? 
I work as a chef, sous chef, but mainly I do crew stuff. Wow. And in your early 20s, you already jumped into that great industry. That yeah. What we are also trying to go into. We uh, Actually, we made it. Yeah, we, we had a lot of interviews with the yacht owners. Oh, uh, really? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And from your opinion, like from your experience, and how, how it is working with yacht owners and also business people, the millionaires or billionaires, how it is that experience you can give it to us? Like every owner is different, every boat is different, so it's all just, it's just, yeah, like it's, it's all so different, so it just depends what boat you land on. Okay. Like I've worked on different ones and they're all so completely different needs, different expectations, different, yeah. Okay, it's not like a, in one line you are working, but whatever you are getting asked, so you have to go, you have to sail with them. That's how it works. Yeah, you stay on the boat. So basically when the boss or the guests are on, you're mm -hmm. basically on the boat the whole mm -hmm. time until they leave. You're a private chef? No. So I work on like a private charter boat, mm -hmm. but I mainly do all like the crew cooking and then I help the head chef mm -hmm. with the guest stuff. Have you ever had a chance to talk with the yacht owners? Hmm. To be in touch, to talk with them or maybe to share some common things together personally like when you're in the kitchen you're kind of like away from it but i know all the other crew all does get involved and speaks to the owners but there are some boats where like you generally like don't talk to the owners and you have to like just stand there until right. they go and they're also not it. going down to be close with the workers or because you are let's say sharing a couple of days together and uh, you are the main person you are feeding them they are not coming down to see who is cooking what are they doing in the kitchen well, usually the head chef will go out and say what the meal is, depending again if they want to or not. Sometimes they just don't care or if they want a burger, then they'll just get a burger and the head chef won't go up for that. Mm -hmm. And just that's great. Is that a profitable career? Yeah. And how long you are in the industry? Uh, so I've been like on and off like five years. But being five years in that business, in that industry as well, what did you achieve? Oh, what did I achieve? Yeah. Uh, I've got to like travel loads, see places that like I would never really consider going myself. Uh, made loads of friends, connections, and money, of course. Right? Yeah. Is that uh, paying well? Yeah. Now, being in your position, how much can we make per year? Depends on what position you're on as a whole. The starting point for anyone is two thousand five hundred euros per month. But you. Me, how much yeah. I earn? Yeah. 4,500 a month. And then there's mm -hmm. tips if there's a charter. It's a decent amount of money. It's really good amount of money. Like we can say around 6,000. It depends. Sometimes mm -hmm. I could get a tip for 7,000 in one week. How do you invest your money? I need to, I need to work on that. <laughs> I need to do something. Don't tell me you are just spending. I go backpacking for a lot of times. Like I've done like three years of backpacking, but that's before and after. That's the next adult task. I'm kind of avoiding I, the adult life. I, I think I have my own answer because she's wearing Prada glass. <laughs> yeah, she, <laughs> she likes to splurge a bit. Just a little bit. Am I right? That, this was my first treat. Okay. But, um, and how much is it? The glasses. Just under 400. Under 400. So is it worth for your money to buy around 400 glasses? Yeah, because I'll have them for years. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. I don't know. I'm not blaming you. Why did you buy it? Why why you didn't save your money? No, no, it's your money. You can do whatever you want. But uh, besides like spending for custom made or something designer mm -hmm. clothes or wear. And how do you spend your money? I know that you are not investing, as you said, yeah. but uh, 7,000, let's say that per month, not even no, per no. week. How do you invest or how do you spend? I'm kind of only getting into charter boats at the moment. Um, but at the moment I just have money in savings mm -hmm. and then when I go on holiday or something I do like to have good holidays and good travel yeah and to, yeah oh. to a certain point <laughs> tell the truth <laughs> it's a mix and, uh, let's say that you have hundred grand on a site where would you invest your money property stock business or your version Honestly, I keep on hearing different suggestions, even like Airbnb or don't Airbnb or do this or do that. But I think 
I want to ideally put my money into a property and then let that out and then keep on working. When you want to buy your first property? Next year. Next year? Yeah. Uh, you are working for it? Yeah. <laughs> you are saving money for that? Yeah. Okay, what is the main reason you want to have your own property in your 27 year? Or? I don't want to specifically live in there. I just want that to have and then let out and have more income coming through. Mm -hmm. And then obviously over time pay off the mortgage and then have that. Right. In terms of buying the property, what is the priority you are going for the buying it? Uh, maybe the location wise or the maintenance is, uh, let's say it's newly built or whatever. What's your main priorities? Probably location. Mm -hmm. I'm still, this is something like I'm going to do in a year's time, so I'll do my research and talk to people about it, but right now, don't know. <laughs> right. Yeah. Let's say that you are looking for someone to help you as an agent. What question you would ask from them as a first-time buyer? Oh, God, that's a thing. I, I need my parents with me or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have to bring your parents as well? Oh, ask for suggestions. Yeah, that's, that's a problem for later, not right now. You, you don't know <laughs> what question to ask, yes? No, I don't know. So let, let me tell you a couple of things. As a first time buyer, you have to do some research about the law as well, because first yeah. time buyer is different. And I don't know, you want to buy it in the UK or out of the UK. Yeah. It, it also depends on your decision. But I believe you will do your own research and also you will ask some agents, even friends to help you regarding the information wise yeah and people want to start in that industry yeah what should they now um well first you need to get the qualifications in order to work on the boats mm -hmm. and then you need to go to locations where you can network and go to the places where all the main boats are talk mm -hmm. to agents agents help you find looking for a job and yeah that's kind of the way to do it online anything that's great. Now, thank you very much. Good to talk to you. Your name, age, and where are you from? Uh, I'm Maria. I'm 33 years old, and I'm from Brazil. What do you do for a living? I work in a pharmaceutical company. In Malta? Yes. For how long? For about two years, I work in this company, but I've been six years in Malta. So, do you rent, or you have your own property here? I'm renting at the moment, and I'm waiting for the bank to approve my uh, purchase on uh, flats. Okay. That's great customer we have on the video at the moment <laughs> so for buying a property and what qualification you should have do you know um, yes there are criteria you need to accomplish but also I enter into a government scheme as well with the housing authority uh -huh. so I did had to fulfill even more criteria and you are already looking for a property or waiting for a loan then you can look for it. I already have a property and I'm waiting just for the final contract you already found it yes okay yes. did you find it through agents or by yourself I found it to through marketplace Facebook and then through an agent. Okay. But were you satisfied with the agency service? Sure. Yeah. But uh, what is the main point for you in order to finding a right place for you? Well, I have two dogs, so I had to take this into consideration. But especially in my case, because of the housing authority, I had to have a good, uh, the house had to be within a budget mm -hmm. as well, within the cap. And yeah, so primarily price and location as well. Location, mm -hmm. then? Well, I would say price first and then location. Price, <laughs> location, and the third one? Well, the property itself, like the state of the property. Ah, okay. Did you buy it brand new? Yes. So the location wise when you are choosing about well, it, it has to be close to the sea or close to the, your workplace? For me, if you live in an island, ideally you live close to the sea. Mm -hmm. So yes, I chose close to the okay. sea. What is the challenges you have faced as a foreigner living in Malta and buying your first property? I would say the bureaucracy. Uh, like a lot of paperwork, a lot of signatures, but also the uncertainty. So I wasn't sure what were the next steps. So I really had to trust the bank and the agent, but I always felt like maybe there was something more that I could do, or if I knew someone that could help me, guide me through the process. Oh, okay. So it means that to make that process faster, you would pay someone to help you. Yes, sure. even with the paperwork and everything. 
Yes, if uh, there was like, let's say, an in-between, even between myself, the agent, the notary and the uh -huh. bank, perhaps I would be willing to get these services. That's great. And why did you decide for buying property rather than paying for a rent? Because I felt like I have been long enough in Malta. I know the conditions for buying a property here are quite good compared to the rest of Europe in terms of, um, let's say, interest rates and the, and the availability of the property itself. So I thought it was the right time. And also because not a lot of landlords in Malta appreciate the fact that I have two dogs. So then I thought, why not? me being the landlord. <laughs> That's a great point actually. Yeah. So if there is no possibilities for you to find it easier, it means that you are making it easier. Exactly. Yeah, you are becoming your own landlord. Yeah. Precisely. All right. That's great. But for people from your country, let's say that they are coming to Malta to invest in a property. Is it a wise decision to buy your own property or to continue for renting? It really depends what you want for yourself. I, I'm looking for the property I wanted because I wanted to live in it. It depends if you want to buy for investment, if you have the monies and the mean for it, that's a good option. But yeah, if you have the chance to buy and you fit the criteria, why not? You know, it's a good country to invest. Okay. Let's say that at the moment you have 200,000 bucks on a side extra. Would you still invest it in a property or stock, shares or business? I would say Malta, I would still invest it in a property. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good point. As a client of the real estate agents, what is the advice you would give for the agents? Because it is important for people to know there are a lot of real estate agents, they are watching to this video. And from clients' perspectives, what should they know? Uh, I think if you gave more perspective like of how the process would go, it would be easier. Mm -hmm. So especially the time frames, I know it's not up to them, but it's been a year already for me, the whole process. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just more giving like realistically uh, overview of the how long the process will take. Because yes, it's, it's a lot of time that you have to dedicate for this project, let's mm -hmm. say. So giving the client a, a proper estimate of how long the process will take would be a good start. What is the problem you have faced and you think that it has to be improved from the agent's side? From the agent, I would say just that, like mm -hmm. for instance, obviously they wouldn't know, but maybe from the experience of the past uh, uh, clients, that the process usually takes much longer than originally expected. Right. So I would say just like keeping the expectations uh, real. <laughs> it's not going to come out in a couple of months or either six months, especially if you're waiting on a loan. If you have money in hand to buy a property, maybe the 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 situation is a bit different but it wasn't my case so if you have to wait for a loan it, it might take a while that's great we appreciate to talk to you good luck on your new home well guys that's it basically i'm definitely sure you enjoyed with this episode too again today's video sponsor is valix property if you want to invest in a property in malta especially if you are abroad have not arrived yet i can help you out for sure or even if you are in malta you are thinking to scale up your business or you want to invest in real estate, I will help you out for that. I will make it easier for you. Don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.